Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Meme game. Today's No Name Meme game is Yuyadin by, oh, Irem. Okay, well, maybe I have hopes for this, because I mean, I heard the name, I know nothing about it, but I saw that it's by Irem. Okay, that's even better. It looks like a shoot 'em up. That's even, even better. Well, the, the intro sequence is not giving us what we're wanting. Pew, pew. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, how much is it like a shoot 'em up? Well, it's it's a running gun. Um, one of the one of the deals with like running guns is that you fire in the direction you're looking. You, you're not like a shoot 'em up where you always have like a fixed facing. And I, honestly, I think that kind of complicates things, especially with these eight-way uh, games. Cause oh, well. So that's interesting. Uh, B button is some sort of fireball. Now, this fireball, is that locked up or is it. Well, you can shoot bolts at the same time. Let's see. Let's see, are there any ill effects to the fireball? No. Okay. Well, I was just complaining that uh, there's no way to shoot in a fixed path, but um, I, the fireball has it. So, I mean, already we're playing the perfect game because it can already anticipate our needs and preemptively take care of them. Oh, what, what, what? Why are they starting behind us? Oh, or can they not move backwards? That's like even less mobility than our guy has, and he's not exactly the most mobile. Oh, I kind of expected the power up to uh, increase my fireball, but no, it, it just kills all the enemies, which I guess, I guess is nice, but. Ah, oh, those stupid dragons are not dying one hit. Let's see if they go up, though. No, nope, they just immediately run out of screen. Now, the guy on the side might cause us some problems, but I don't really think so. I'm also beginning to suspect this game does not have a continue function. It seems like it's kind of an oldish game, but... Oh my god, all three times. Well, continue, continue. Well, oh, alright. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> that's, that's very disorienting, but this is a very responsive name entry screen. I'm Okay. Oh, but you can't continue. It was so close to being the perfect game. But anyway, one of, one of the things that really distinguishes running guns from um, shoot 'em ups is that, like, shoot 'em ups, you're almost always firing in one constant direction, so you can focus solely on movement. However, in running guns, you also have to take into account your facing, and that kind of. Well, that drastically complicates things. And frankly, I feel like it just makes it a little too cluttered, messy, booky. Like, you play something like Commandos, and it's like, okay, this this is alright, this works. Or Mercs, 125, or Commandos, I mean, there's, there's a thousand games where you're basically this army dude trying to shoot up the bad guys. It's like, take your pick, really. And I mean, they're kind of nice, but they're, they're just kind of... It's just a little confusing. It kind of grates on your mind. But you play something like Metal Slug, and, I mean, yes, Metal Slug is a run-and-gun, but your mobility is drastically limited. Like, your facing, for example, is left or right. And that's it. That's all you have to work with. But, that's all you really need. Well, no, no, no. Hold on, what am I saying? So, essentially, all you have is left and right. But, that really simplifies your options. And it really simplifies the gameplay. And so... It, on one hand, like, part of the difficulty is even being able to aim and hit people with your shots. But simplifying the facing like that just makes it so much easier. Because you can see in this game, like, it's one thing to dodge everything. It's an entirely another thing to dodge everything while being able to counterattack. Oh my gosh. And this is supposed to be an easy boss, but all you need is a few trash mobs just kind of hanging around, messing things up, and it's no bueno. But I, oh my god. It's nonsense. This game is nonsense. Well, let's see. So I rem... Oh my gosh, I can't even remember. Uh, I feel like Nazca is part of my Like, Like they were a spin-off of Irem. And they're the ones who made Metal Slug and uh, Neo Turf Masters, which is not a running gun at all, but it's, it's a pretty sweet golfing game if you ever want to check that out. So, oh man. 
Actually, this kind of reminds me of Pocky and Rocky with Becky. Because, like, well, maybe that's for the Game Boy Advance, but it's a running gun, and, like, well, maybe Pocky and Rocky have, like, better movement options, but, like, it's another running gun that just takes no prisoners. And, I mean, yeah, it's a Super Nintendo game, and, yeah, you have infinite continues, but, like, it just kind of hit, it hits you back to checkpoints, and, like, there is just nothing you can do. That, that game will just beat you down. Although, interestingly, this game doesn't have any power-ups. Like, there's, there's no shot to lose. And it actually is strangely generous in that it gives you the fireball. Which, honestly, that's kind of a neat twist. I really wish more running guns kind of had, like, a dedicated button to just shoot forward. Because, like, as so often enemies just come at you from straight ahead and you just want to shoot them. And you just want you just want a quick shot like that. And this game just, just knows how to do it. Now the boss, I don't know if it's unbeatable. Unfortunately, it's kind of video game rules where it just it just takes a few times to get used to a boss. And I kind of wonder if that's just the, the fundamental secret of why video games can actually, or why arcade games can be profitable. Because like it just it just takes humans a while to like learn how to do something. And like. You send them an unpredictable boss, and it's like, yeah, they can beat it. They know they can beat it. That's why they're going to keep on putting in quarters. But, like, it's still going to take those few times. Oh, where's my power-up? How can I cheese this? Um, okay. This is not the way you're supposed to do this, but it's, it seems to work. Oh, okay. I, I didn't really notice this before, but the fireball does go through multiple enemies, which is really nice for those stupid goblins, but it's, I mean... There's, there's a lot of stuff. I'm making it further than I ever have. It's a very exciting game right now, but I think we can handle this. And we're to the boss. Now just don't get get into his pattern. Don't die immediately. Now, if I really wanted to, I could probably just cheese this with the fireball. Well, I mean, I, I say if I want to, but that's kind of what I'm going to be end up be doing. But, oh yeah, yeah. You guys are going to see what level 2 looks like. Nice. Go to next area. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't actually sure I could beat that boss. Well, I was just saying that I wish this was more like a shoot 'em up with a fixed shot, and my god, this game is like psychic or something because it is listening to me. And you still have the fireball, which I'm, I'm a little uncertain how you use it here, because like you can't really use it as a supplemental shot, because I feel like it's a little too useful to just use like that. You gotta kind of keep it in reserve. But at the same time, it's not giving you like obvious chances to use it. And you fight Rate of Fire, it's it's not amazing, but it's like fast enough that you don't really need to use it. I'll check out those power-ups. Let's get a mess with you. It is, it is kind of annoying that you can't beat those stupid dragons. Or stupid lion statues, because I mean, they're just gonna hang out there and keep on killing you. Oh. And the enemies just have such better mobility. Okay. Let's focus in because this could be the end, if not. I want to at least make it to a boss. I think I can handle that. I've been, only been playing arcade games for five years. I think I've gotten pretty good at these things. And this screen full of enemies. It's probably going to make me regret taking that so soon, because there's probably going to be like a dragon or something somewhere, but... Uh, middle of the screen, it's not the place to be, but it's a place to be. It's kind of like your friend's party, and it's like, this is a friend you don't really like, but it's, it's a really boring Friday, so you gotta just hang out somewhere. And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, friend. I mean, I don't like you, you don't like me. We, we both know it, but your place is happening. Oh, did I accidentally do two-player? Well, I'm not gonna complain. Because I need the chances, quite frankly. Or maybe they're just really generous with lives. Honestly, I've been so focused in... Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Oh, and you die if you touch them. Wow, and I was doing so well, too. Maybe there's like a cheat code? I mean, this game is has quality of life written all over it. There's gotta be something else you can do. Uh, dang it, dang it, Irem. You guys almost made the perfect game. Almost made the perfect game. <laughs> it constitutes a criminal act. Well, that's interesting. So is there simultaneous two player? Because it looks like from the screen there's simultaneous two player, but you both play as the exact same character. Which seems like it would be confusing. But uh, otherwise, oh my god, this game is too nerve wracking. You, you know what? You know what? 
this game has been doing favors for me. Let's do a favor for this game. Oh, maybe no. You can't. You can't credit spam. It's, it's a game that has to be conquered legitimately. But all right, let's let's try and progress slowly but surely, or take it risky because I missed the guy and I gotta I gotta get there. All right. Not even a problem. Avoid the pig. This is a distraction. Well, thankfully, it seems like the line statues no longer shoot at you if you get past them, so that's at least something to live by. What is that Cyclops guy doing there? He's just hanging out. Okay, so beat the dragon, kill the dragon. Easy peasy. Hey, don't say I don't learn stuff. Okay, and then... Alright. Uh, okay, fireballs on the green guys. I'm gonna come at you like shoot em up enemies. I'm surprised that worked. Okay. Move to the side, move to the side, kill the guy on the ref, kill him right. Strafe, strafe. More green guys, but they're dead already. Okay. It seems like circling around is a relatively effective strategy, because I mean, you do actually have a fairly decent rate of fire. It's not like Commando where you're shooting three shot bursts or something. Uh, I'm thinking shock troopers, where uh, I think you kind of shoot rapidly, but it's, it's more in bursts. Oh man, oh, the movement, the movement, they know, they know exactly how to make these bosses to, to like, skirt the edge of legality and possibility. But they, they got it. They got it. They know what they're doing. I ran. You guys are pros. I've tried faith in you. Yeah. Faith in me. I shouldn't, but I do. Let's go to the next area. And he takes off flight. Now, one has to ask the question, if he could just fly everywhere, why did he even bother fighting those guys in the first place? He could just flown over them. I've begun to realize that the fireball is just something you gotta spam. Even even in shoot 'em ups, like it's it's not useful. It, well, it's not to say it's not useful, it's just don't wait for the perfect time. Just use it right away. Plus it seems to kill guys in one hit. And that's that's pretty nice. I mean, as you see, being overwhelmed is like pretty much the hardest thing this thing is going to give you. Those wings, I think, do nothing, so that's just a trap. That's just a trap. Just remember, guys, when you're playing arcade games, like, resist your baser instincts. You see something shiny, stay the hell away from it, because it's probably going to be a trap. Now, that's not to say never pick it up, but, like, take your time. Breathe a little. Watch what the enemies are doing. Wait till it's safe. All advice I should probably be taking. All right. All right. Circling around, but that's no problem. We got what we're doing, and taking a late may have been a boon. Can't tell. Can't care. The guy's coming around. You ain't got none of me, pals. Oh god! His, his hitbox is just too big to go diagonal. And so if you get stuck, then you just you just can't cross over. Oh, that's that's rough. That's real rough. That's mean, pal. That's real mean. Because you gotta get past the line somehow, but you can't you can't do it normally. You gotta cheat to do it. That's a okay. All right, well, let's wait one more wave. They're gonna fire, but I'll be here, and that's not a problem. So now I'm safe. And then they're gonna fire. Loop around. Can't catch me. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, all right. We're not doing good, but we're not dead. And now we get to see what the boss looks like. You can thank me later. Not oh, Pfft. there's no boss. There's just winning. All right, and it's probably another walking gun. Oh my God, heart rate is like 7,000 right now. All right, nice and slow. Got to see as much of the game as possible. And well, it looks harder, but it's not, it doesn't, Oh, okay, there's a dragon right there. Okay, this is su super hard. This is impossible. Can't be beaten. I was gonna say, it doesn't doesn't seem that much harder, but... Well, it's one of those things to take for granted, like, enemy placement. Like, you wouldn't think. It's like, okay, we'll just put, like, two more enemies on screen, but, like, the enemies kind of work together, like, exponentially. And so you put those two enemies, and you're not just making it, uh, whatever percent harder, like, 5%, 10% harder. There's only 10% of them. Oh, and I would have made a... I almost made a break for it. But that little guy just waiting in the corner. Oh my god. Why does he do it? Why? 
Why does he get up in the morning? Uh, let's see how long this thing can go. Uh, okay, four, five, six, seven? Do we hear eight? Do I hear, no, oh, okay. Eight letters? Oh my god. This is the future, guys. You can enter eight letters for your name. You could even enter like a real name. A-S-H-G-A-B-A-T, Ashgabat. I could have added in the name Ashgabat, which would have been great because I got first place. Could have claimed this arcade cabinet. Oh, come on, man. You gotta, you gotta tell me a year. Oh, it's because I got credits. It can smell blood, it can smell money. Wow. I gotta hand it to him, Iram. I, I had some doubts. And then, and then they were allayed, and then I saw that it was a run and gun, and then I had more doubts, but like kind of gradually, and then there was a shoot 'em up. So it's like, okay, okay, I can, I can deal with this, Iram. And just towards the end, it's like it, it gelled, it clicked. Like this game, it just feels right. Like graphics doesn't matter. Like movement, it's it's solid, but gameplay, it's like whatever. But like, just it all comes together and it just gels. Like I almost want to go back and do another one like I feel I feel like I could probably do better now I know I can't but I feel like I can and I think that that is what you want to see in an arcade game like like a game where you can feel like you can do better you can go back and you can just try harder but I I won't so on that note this cat's got a scat